Hi guys, Paul from Visa and Power Mount Performance here today and I wanted to show you this very lovely Jaguar V6 Supercharged. Unfortunately this one is not particularly well today. These supercharged engines tend to be very, very reliable. These engines, in fact, are almost bulletproof. But one of the things they do suffer from is water leaks. And this one has failed in exactly the classic way. Three pipes tend to fail on these particular vehicles. There's the Y pipe that sits underneath the supercharger. There's the valley pipe, which actually is known as the throttle cooling pipe, and also the water pump fails on them. And we're not exactly sure where this water leak's coming from in this one, but it's failed in a big way. It's literally dumped all of its coolant out. And I wanted to take the opportunity here to show you these pipes, show you how they're changed, and show you how and why they fail. So I'm gonna ask Andy to come in here. Andy is gonna whip the supercharger off for us today. And as we're doing that, we'll get back into the engine bay later on today, and we'll see these pipes, where they're situated, and we'll get them changed for this customer. So follow us and see how this goes. Okay, so Andy's been really busy for the last couple of hours and he's now got the supercharger off. And this gives me a great opportunity to show you literally into the, the valley of where the supercharger lives and some of these pipes that fail. So if you can come around and take a look, this is the Y pipe. Now this is the pipe that classically fails and I've actually got the new part here. And as this is fitted down into the engine, these ends here actually normally completely break off. Sometimes they'll just split a little bit, but we've actually seen them quite often where this pipe completely breaks off. Now, you can't see this leaking when the supercharger's on, so it's very difficult to see where they're leaking from. But that is the classic Y pipe part that fails. And if you haven't had yours changed, it's a really, really good idea to get it done. Certainly if your car's on 50, 60,000 miles, um, it's well worth looking at. Because when these fail, and this literally splits it can be a major catastrophic failure straight away the engine literally dumps all of its coolant out very very quickly um, this normally isn't just a case of a dribble situation it's boff your coolant is gone and if you are going down a motorway at 70 miles an hour and that happens you need to stop really really quickly if you suspect you've got a coolant leak and you are driving your car on this particular engine, make sure you stop and get it investigated quickly. Do not be tempted to drive on to the next service station or something like that and see what's going on. If it's failed, it can fail catastrophically. Now this particular car, actually, I've got to be honest, seems to be leaking from pretty much everywhere. It's also leaking from this top joint on the Y pipe. Now that's quite unusual, but it is definitely leaking. There's water staining down there. This pipe here is what we often nickname as the valley pipe. It runs underneath the supercharger from the front to the back. It actually cools the throttle body. This too is leaking. You can see it's got an um, old coolant stain on here and it seems to have been leaking from this connection here. It's actually normally the back end of that pipe that leaks, but that is leaking. And you'll see on the back of the supercharger, there's a lot of coolant there too. Normally when we've got it off to this extent, we would change the valley pipe, both parts of the Y pipe, and in any doubt at all, change the water pump too. They're the three areas that fail on these cars, and there's nothing worse than your Y pipe failing, you take it apart, you strip it down, and a week later, your throttle cooling pipe goes, or your water pump starts leaking. So our recommendation is when you've got the supercharger off, do the lot, get it done, and you should be good for many, many happy miles to come. So here we are the next morning and Andy's been working flat out and we've just about got her up and running now. So the supercharger is back on, the three pipes have been changed. And when you've done a job like this, these engines can be a little bit tricky sometimes to bleed through. So fill them with coolant, allow it to fully warm up at idle. Ideally you want the, um, the cooling fan to have kicked in at least twice check the coolant level again, and then take it out on a nice long road test and you should be good to go. So just to recap, people do get a bit confused about the Y pipes. There are two parts to the Y pipe. You should change both of them. We always change what's called the valley pipe or the throttle cooling pipe as well at the same time, just because you're there with the supercharger off. So three pipes to change. Do have a good look at the water pump too. They can weep sometimes from the pipe that goes to the back of the water pump or the water pump itself can start leaking. Um, so if in doubt, any doubt at all, change the pump as well whilst you're there. So if you've got a supercharged car like this and it does affect both the three litre and the five litre, 
it's well worth just keeping an eye on your coolant level and keep an eye out for any leaks. The obvious way you're going to do that is look for the low coolant light coming on and of course that quite literally is a big warning sign. Um, you can also often smell a coolant leak. The coolant smells really quite sweet, almost like burnt syrup. It's a funny sort of smell, but it's quite obviously noticeable, not oil or something like that. You get the sweet smell under the bonnet. That's something you want to investigate. And sometimes maybe if you've been on a long run, you're coming off the motorway up to a roundabout, you might see little wisps of steam just coming out from under the bonnet or through the vents. All of those things are warning signs that you've probably got a coolant leak. And as I mentioned earlier, when you've got a leak on these cars, get it investigated quickly. Don't be thinking this is something you should be just living with and topping up every now and again, because these pipes can fail very quickly and completely. On this particular car, the car was idle, it was at warm running temperatures, and literally just dumped its coolant. The, check, the warning lamp came on to say low coolant, and the customer was able to shut the engine off straight away before any damage, of course, could take place. One thing I would say is you've got a car like this and you have not had these pipes changed and particularly as the car gets a little bit older, one thing you might want to think about is a preventative repair. I know nobody wants a repair bill that they're not expecting but rather do it when it's a good time for you to have these pipes changed rather than when you're on your way to a family holiday, wedding or something that you really need to get to. Um, so it's something you might want to consider, take the bull by the horns and get these pipes changed in your own time when it's a good time to get the work done. So I hope you found the video interesting as always you can find us on youtube join us on facebook and keep watching for our next videos on our jaguar range of tuning and styling and in the meantime if you need anything at all of course you can find us at vizu.com and we look forward to seeing you soon